हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम गौरव गुप्ता फ्रॉम शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ मॉड्यूल लेआउट प्लानिंग टाइप्स ऑफ लेआउट अंडर पेपर ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट दिस चैप्टर वुड हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ डिजाइनिंग proper layout various characteristics of process and product layout basic techniques of designing of process and product layout layout is defined as physical arrangement of an economic activity center in a production or service facility introduction layout planning involves decisions about the physical arrangement of economic activity center within a production or service facility an economic activity center could be a machine a worker or a group of employees a workstation etc it is anything which occupy space and used in production of an output layout planning is an important decision for management as a proper layout has a direct effect on the efficiency of production the proper and effective arrangement of economic centers ensures the smooth and rapid movement of material from the raw material stage to the end product stage layout planning involves decisions regarding falling aspects determining type of centers depend upon type of jobs involved in production of a good or service for instance a motor motorcycle service station should include specific service center for each motorcycle tool station for each unit and common tool center used by all the units it should not include sitting space either for workers or for customers as it would hinder working and decrease productivity similarly a barber shop includes economic centers that centers which occupy space like sitting chair for customer space for movement of workers common and special storage space for tools and a waiting area next determining space and capacity for each center is very important for uninterrupted and unhindered movement of man and material for instance in motorcycle service station and barber shop example there should be sufficient space in between each service center as every one of them is an independent economic center so workers or employees engaged in activities at these centers should have enough space to carry their activity unhindered on other hand in some service centers such as banks and retail stores where movement of customer is a part of production process the layout design should involve space for movement of customers as well next placement of different service centers and an education institute has various economic centers in the form of teaching and non teaching departments library central canteens and hostels the placement of each service center in relation to each other is an important aspect of layout planning library should be placed near to the teaching departments but away from the canteen and similar decisions have to be considered in this context placement of 
centers has two aspects relative location that is particular space that a center occupies relative to the other centers and absolute location that is particular space that a center occupies within a facility this concept has been illustrated in educational institution example such institution might have numerous departments for instance department related to social sciences are grouped in one center whereas department related to the sciences to some other center relative location of canteen with respect to teaching departments should be such that it does not disturb teaching function figure indicates one type of arrangements of these economic centers now figure indicates the following aspects centers to be included vegetables meat products electronic items grocery kids apparels and books are the departments of economic centers that have been included in retail store space allocated to each store as can be seen grocery store has been allocated maximum space at its demand was estimated to be maximum absolute and relative placement absolute location of grocery is central to the retail store whereas it is relatively placed at almost equal distance to all other stores so it can be easily assessed by maximum customers it was found in this design that vegetarian customers have objections to the layout design as vegetable store was placed adjacent to the meat product store so relative placement of vegetable store was not appropriate one alternative has been shown in figure where relative location of vegetable and meat product has been changed this can be one alternative out of numerous available but a firm must select only that which has highest economic value thus to consider above mentioned aspect layout planning becomes very important for reasons discussed in next section implication of layout planning plant layout is an important decision as it represents long term commitment selection and designing of proper layout can help immensely in communicating company strategies an effective layout can help a company to achieve its competitive priorities as it would facilitate the flow of materials and information for instance a service station is designed in such a manner that tools and materials are placed at each service station to reduce movement of workers in a university a dean's office is located close to vice chancellor office to facilitate easy flow of information increasing customer convenience at various service centers a bank is involved in providing different kind of services lot of customer assess a branch of bank increasing its demand to reduce inconvenience in terms of waiting time and smooth flow of customer a bank has to be select a proper layout efficient utilization of labor and equipment as seen in retail example maximum customer are attracted to grocery store so its utilization would be maximum but an electronic store might not attract customers all the time thereby reducing utilization of its labor so to increase its utilization either space allocated to electronic store can be decreased or a new store can be placed in against it this can be done as electronic store has to linkage with any other store but in car wash example as shown below situation is different
wash rinse and dry figure shows a simple process of washing a car it involves three sequential processes that is washing rinsing and then drying of a car now each machine involved in particular process can only do one kind of job if one machine goes out of order then entire operation is stopped making utilization of all the machines into nil the layout of car wash operation is different from store operation as in store operation if one economic center become dysfunctional it can be replaced by some other process of function but in case of layout of car wash operation such a placement is not possible thus depending on the process a layout can have a significant impact on utilization of labor and equipment providing safety to workers safety is a prime issue in manufacturing facilities as such facilities involve movement of heavy material and working on sometimes dangerous machines such operations require uninterrupted flow of material and enough space for all workers to move freely and smoothly proper layout can provide enough space to each economic center and provision of enough space for smooth flow of material sometimes even retail store more material than required to attract more customers creating less space for movement of customers in such scenario customers might feel crowded and sometimes avoid such stores to reduce risk of collision with fellow customers or with haphazardly placed material improving employee morale and communication it has been seen that proper selection of layout plays a significant role in enhancing employee morale and productivity in organizations which require free flow of communication and teamwork organizations such as it banks and teaching departments have used layout design as a tool in improving employee productivity types of layout layout planning has numerous implications in both manufacturing and service firms proper layout designing has significant impact on making an organization competitive and improving its productivity layout planning is a strategic decision as type of layout selection depends upon company's objective of its type of operation selected for production of products or services a company selects mass production system if its objective is to beat its competition by producing low cost products whereas batch production system is predominantly chosen if objective is to provide customized and high quality products or services the characteristics of both types of operation system influence designing of layout it should be noted here that selection of type of layout depends upon strategic objectives of a company whereas design of layout is governed by type of production system that is associated with such objectives for instance a profit oriented company providing customized products would provide high variety of products but would produce each variety at low volume so most appropriate system of production in such case would be batch production system this in turn would decide type of layout that company would select which fulfills criteria of batch production system similarly cost oriented company providing low variety of products at high volume would opt for mass production system types of layout 
layout design for such system would be entirely different than in case of batch production system. More practically, majority of companies, whether in service or manufacturing sphere, ask for a hybrid of both kind of operating systems. For instance, in a car assembly plant, all cars of similar kind are being assemb assembled in mass production system and they are painted in batches involving batch operating system. In such cases, hybrid layout is adopted which involves characteristics of both operating systems. Following are the two layouts discussed depending upon type of production system. Specifically, following are characteristics of process layout. Volume of product or service produced is low. Variety of product or service produced is high. General purpose equipment which can perform variety of operation is generally used. Layout is flexible as it is less vulnerable to change in product mix. In a process layout, same resources can be used to produce different products or services. For example, in retail store, grocery department can be replaced by any other department without hindering activities of other departments. Equipment utilization is higher as same resource is utilized for production of different products as demand for one type of product is low. So when one machine gets free from producing that product, it can be used to manufacture other products. Employee skill set is varied and high. For example, in a bank, an employee can be used to provide different services. Same employee can be used for cash deposit and also for creating fixed deposits depending on the demand of each kind of service. The skill set of employees increases as they become proficient in carrying out different services. A process layout comes with falling disadvantages. Productive time is lost in changing resources for production of different products or services. For example, suppose a general purpose machine has a capacity of producing 1000 units in an 8 hour shift. Company gets an order of manufacturing 400 units of product A and 6000 units of product B. Now the machine might not be able to produce all 1000 units in specified time of 8 hour shift. Some productive time might be lost in changing or setting the machine for production of product B after manufacturing product A. The flow of resources is jumbled making movement of material handling equipment costly and time consuming. For example, a customer A visiting a retail store whose layout is shown might follow the, a path of kids, grocery, books and when exit whereas another customer B might follow apparels, vegetable, books and then exit. The point is very every customer might follow different paths thus making movement of man and handling material jumbled. This can also lead to obstruction as customer might find movement hindered making movement as time consuming process. Most skilled labor is required resulting in higher cost as employees are engaged in different activities. For example, Indian IT industry works on projects. IT companies get projects from all type of sectors like banking, automobile, financing, etc. So employees of such companies needs to have varied skill set to work on different projects.
time gap or lag in production is higher because of loss of productive time is change over of machines and labor processing rate tends to be slower leading in loss of production work in progress inventory is high needing greater storage space process layout is based on features of batch shop production systems which ask for general purpose machines that is same machine is used to produce variety of products so if a machine is processing raw material into finished good of one kind of product then raw material of other product has to wait for processing this causes increase in work in process inventory occupying essential storage space designing of process layout thus to meet the challenges of process layout following are few aspects that need to consider in designing of work center based on process layout the distance between departments should be as short as possible for avoiding long distance movement of materials d department should be in sequence of operations the arrangement should be convenient for inspection and supervision these aspects have been discussed in following illustration illustration suppose there are three departments 1 2 and 3 which have to located at given three locations a b and c now by using proper layout design it has to be found that which department should be assigned to which location and how these departments need to be arranged following information is given distance between locations a and b equal to 20 meters workflow between departments that is travel distance between two departments 1 and 3 equal to 7, 170 b and c distance between locations is 30 meters workflow between departments is 2 and 3 equal to 100 distance between location a and c is 40 meters workflow between departments is 1 and 2 equal to 30 step 1 a and b locations are closest to each other and workflow between departments 1 and 3 is maximum so 1 and 3 departments should be assigned to location a and b or b and a step 2 2 and 3 have higher workflow than 1 and 2 so these two departments should be closer than 1 and 2 also b and c are located closer to each other than a and c so one should be assigned to a two should be assigned to c three should be assigned to b shown in figure location a department 1 takes 170 to department 3 100 to department 2 location c product layout a firm would adopt a product layout for its operation if manufacturing of its product is based on mass production system such a system is characterized by high volume and very low variety of products as high volume of product is required so operations are continuous and repetitive car assembly car washing computer manufacturing and other manufacturing operations predominantly use product layout it is important to emphasize that services predominantly use batch production system and thus inclined to adopt process layout or its operations whereas manufacturing firms use mass production system and so product layout for its operations specifically following are characteristics of a product layout product layout involves production of high volume and low variety of goods equipment required to manufacture such high quantities are specialized in nature such machinery is equipped to perform only one kind of operation at very fast rate for instance in car washing example as shown in figure one machine is equipped to perform only one kind of job that is machine 
can perform washing machine 2 is for rinsing and machine 3 is for drying operation no machine can replicate the job of other machine productive time is not lost in changing operation as only one kind of product is produced so machines or other resources are dedicated for only one kind of job there is no need to stop operations of a particular machine for change over resulting in high production and almost nil wastage of production time flow of products is streamlined and not jumbled as was in process layout as machines are arranged in a sequence depending on the process of production so all the raw material should flow according to a set flow this result in a very streamlined flow of material for instance in car washing example all cars would move according to the process that is washing rinsing drying no car can skip or change the flow of operation work in progress inventory is low so there is no wastage of storage space dedication of resources in an particular flow determines which machine material and labor is required for which operation so material keeps on moving on convener belt from one operation to other without stopping in between the machines employee skill set is most of the time low and entails lower cost as compared to employees involved in batch shop production system an employee is required to operate only one kind of machine or he she indulges in very few types of operations thus limiting his her skill set but as he she is involved in doing one kind of job repetitively so he she becomes proficient in that job also time taken to carry out that job would be less as worker has become efficient in performing such a job this is required in product layout as high volume of units needs to be produced which ask for efficient operations at less time material handling cost is also low in product layout a product layout comes with falling disadvantages layout is fixed product layout is also called as assembly line layout as machine are arranged in sequential format the format is dictated by the process of production in car washing example rinsing cannot be carried out before washing so resources for rinsing would only be placed and used after washing operation thus product layout is not flexible to changes equipment utilization is low as compared to process layout in a product layout which is based on mass production system special purpose machines are installed to manufacture very few types of products so if demand for such products falls then these resources cannot be utilized to manufacture or produce other products also if one machine goes out of order then it would affect entire assembly line for example if machine operating rinsing function breaks down then drying machine cannot operate its operation as no car would reach its work center equipment used in capital intensive that is cost of special purpose equipment is very high to fulfill high demand production rate has to be very high so special purpose machines are used in mass production system to incur such huge cost machines and you and other resources needs to run continuously resulting in 
lower per unit cost of product. Whereas in process layout which is governed by batch production system general purpose machine produced at lower volume thus increasing cost of services being delivered. Designing of product layout for example in example washing and drying might require only 2 minutes per car whereas rinsing might require 4 minutes per car as shown. Now for instance a car A enters the assembly line and gets washed in 2 minutes. Machine 2 will get a product for processing after 2 minutes and machine 3 will get A for drying after 6 minutes. By the time car A gets rinsed which takes 4 minutes. Hybrid layout. Some processes calls for combination of both product and process layouts. Some activities are processed by using characteristics of product layout and some are carried out by using features of process layout. Assembly lines are good example of hybrid layout. Car assembly products are assembled using product layout. Machines are arranged in a sequence wherein each car moves along a designated process flow. At the end of assembly line, final product manufactured in similar or sometimes almost identical. But painting of car is done in batches, different cars might be of different colors. So painting operations involve process layout whereas assembly operations require product layout. Another illustration is comparison of food arrangements in a dining restaurant and that of fast food restaurant. In a dining restaurant, each family or a group of individuals might ask for different meals. Thus, such a restaurant provides high variety of goods at low volumes. Whereas, a fast food restaurant has to provide high volume of goods at low variety as majority of the customer ask for similar kind of products. With increasing competition, some restaurants are providing both kinds of services. In such cases, these restaurants adopt hybrid layout. High variety and low demand products can be produced by using process layout, whereas high demand, low variety goods can be produced by using product layout. Fixed position layout. In process and product layout, product used to move from one machine to another. All resources such as labor, tool and machinery used to be fixed. But in cases of production of heavy products such as aircraft, ship etc. It is the product which is fixed and all resources such as labor, tool and machinery moves towards the product. Fixed position layout is the only possible option in case of manufacturing of such heavy products. So students, let, let's us summarize what we have learnt in this module. This chapter discuss the importance of layout design and different types of layout. Layout planning is an important strategic decision as it involves long-term financial commitment. Selection of particular kind of layout depends upon various criteria such as level of capital investment, requirements of material handling, demand and variety of products or services, amount of flexibility needed and provided a safe and productive atmosphere for workers. Four types of layout have been discussed process layout, product layout, hybrid and fixed position layout. Service firms because of its intermittent and non repetitive nature mostly adopts process layout. Manufacturing firms because of its high demand of their products and repetitive operation mostly adopt product layout. Thank you.